I'm regularly asked how long does the consultation last? I provide a consultation service obviously. People have problems and I give advice. I listen to the problems. I look at the relevant correspondence. I try to find out and ascertain all the facts and then I give advice. But people ask how long does the consultation last and with the greatest of respect this is the wrong question to ask. Let me explain. If somebody is coming to me and they are proposing to embark on a claim, some sort of a legal action, whether it's employment related or property related or indeed even if it's not a claim, even if it's to do with buying a property for example or bringing some sort of litigation or bringing some sort of an action to challenge a will. Any of these things can lead to significant legal costs and significant risk. Sometimes it is quite apparent from the outset that what is being proposed is absolutely bound to fail. It has no prospect of success in law. In those circumstances it may only take five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes for me to recognize that this person is embarking or proposing to embark on a course of action that is ultimately going to end in failure. And quite frankly, if it only takes five minutes or 10 minutes for me to put them straight, to put them wise, wide, to give them the advice, then how long the consultation lasts is quite frankly immaterial because the value in the consultation, the money in the con consultation is the saving that I or any solicitor or any professional person quite frankly can bring about through their expertise and through their professional training and so on. So it could be a medical issue you could go to a doctor with a medical situation or a dentist or a psychiatrist or somebody and regardless of how long they take they may very quickly identify for example a medical issue perhaps a heart murmur in that situation again how long the consultation lasts is meaningless it's a meaningless question i'm recalling to mind the story one time of a construction of a multi-story, multi-unit apartment block or building in New York City. And it transpired that the block was maybe 20, 30 stories high. And it transpired that there was some problem in the building with the way that the paint had reacted with the concrete or the mortar. And it was apparent in cracking all over the building prior to the opening of the building prior to the launch the commercial launch of the building i think it was a mixture of offices commercial and apartments it looked like being an absolute catastrophe but it transpired that the cause of the cracking was a chemical reaction between the paint and the type of cement or mortar that was used in the construction or in the plastering of the building it transpired too that one man had the solution. He was a scientist or some sort of a, a boffin working in a laboratory in the Midwest in the United States. This fellow had the solution. And the bottom line was he wanted something like a million dollars for the solution. But the owners of the building, the developers, were perfectly happy to pay it because they needed this multi-million dollar development to launch and launch successfully they needed to solve the problem so they arranged a meeting with the guy and he came along and he had a piece of paper and on the piece of paper he had some sort of a solution some sort of a formula a identifying how the problem had arisen in the first place and b how to fix it and the meeting lasted approximately five minutes. 
but he got a million dollars for it it was a five minute meeting he provided the solution to the problem and that's all they wanted and that's all that was at value or important in the transaction how long the meeting lasted didn't really make any difference because this guy had the solution the solution to the problem so that's why the question how long does the consultation last is sort of meaningless and again if the solicitor or somebody else any other professional for example could advise you for the sake of or at a cost of say 100 quid that you were wasting your time and it only took three minutes for him to tell you that and explain why for example you might be statute barred then it is only well spent obviously if you are prevented from and deterred from embarking on uh, legal proceedings or a cause of action or a course of action that is bound to end in failure and is bound to end in significant costs for you if you spend a small amount of money and avoid that bullet avoid that waste avoid that frustration and if it only takes five minutes well what about it so that's why it's a question i come across very regularly how long is the consultation as it happens i a lot or allow a maximum of one hour but oftentimes i don't need an hour uh, 20 minutes a half an hour is perfectly fine to explain to somebody why they have or half in a case but how long the consultation lasts is not really the important question whether i give good advice or not and whether i can save you a buttload of money or prevent you from spending money on a disastrous property investment for example because of some flaw in the planning or some flaw in the title if i can help you and prevent you from doing that well then regardless of whether the consultation is five minutes or five hours clearly you are going to be far better off getting decent advice regardless of how long it takes hope you find this video useful if you do i would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my youtube channel if this sort of thing floats your boat if you have any interest in irish law or irish business i attempt on my youtube channel to explain in plain language all aspects of irish law and irish business and I have a significant amount of experience in business having bought my first business in 1986 and I've bought and sold a lot of businesses a lot of properties since then as I say I hope you find this useful if you do give it a thumbs up down below thank you